KTSM told you the story of Sean, who had a drive-by parade bigger than he ever expected. The whole community came out to celebrate the boy's 11th birthday. Today, our KTSM 9 News reporter Skylar Soto caught up with Sean and his mother, and it's a story you'll see only on KTSM 9 News. 11-year-old Sean is diagnosed with Crohn's disease and juvenile idiopathic arthritis, causing him to miss out on activities and holidays kids typically enjoy. So for his 11th birthday, his mom planned a drive-by parade. Now, at first, it didn't go as planned, but with the help of the Sun City, Sean says it's his best birthday yet. It made me feel good. I liked it. Thank you. I appreciate it. I love all the support. It's ve I'm very thankful. With Sean's condition, his treatments keep him away from school more often, and sometimes he can participate in activities, shifting his lifestyle. He does go to school, but uh, like today he had to stay home because last night he took his injection, and that's the one that makes him feel really sick. Because of that, Sean wanted to celebrate his 11th birthday with a drive-by parade. And being a mom, I mean, you want to make them happy. So I thought, how can I put this together? She then made a post on social media and had lots of traction, but it didn't go as planned. I actually got a lot of people messaging me, telling me that they couldn't make it, but they wanted to make it on Saturday the 4th. So with the help of social media, Sean was in for a big surprise. I wish for a birthday party, like, like, like for a parade again. And it came true and she told me that um, we're gonna have another parade. And it's going to be lots of people this time, that's what she said. And he told me that when he blew his candle out, he wished for a second birthday parade, but a bigger parade. And so that day of the parade, he told me, he was like, Mom, like, I got my wish. He received prayers, stuffed animals, clothes, and even a PlayStation 5. I think that was the biggest thing for me, is just to see that he was smiling. I, I hardly get to see him smile that much like he did that day. I was just, I think I was in shock, and I think he was too. He kept just looking at me like he couldn't believe all of that was happening for him. I just want to meet all of them again and just give them lots of hugs and tell them thank you. Sean tells me he doesn't want to give away any of his gifts because it means so much to him. But him and his mom both tell me they would like to return the generosity they were given to other sick kids, hopefully this Christmas. Reporting in East El Paso, I'm Skylar Soto, KTSM 9 News.